<clears throat> What's going on, Redskin fans? It's your boy back with another video. This is serious. This is not a laughing matter. This is this is our football team. This is a message to Dan Snyder. Our leader, supposed to be. In the last twenty years, this is this is our leader. This is the guy that 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 we have. We can't get rid of Dan Snyder. But Dan Snyder, there's something you can do. I mean, understand this. Your fans sent you a message. Did you see the state? Usually I would do a, a, a Bears Redskin recap, but why? Why do a Bears Redskin recap? We already know that we have five turnovers. We already know we couldn't block them. We, hell, we already know the defense couldn't stop a, a really, a, not really a great offense at all. A struggling quarterback. Hmm. So there's really no need to, to get into that. The fans sent you a message, Dan Snyder. This is week three in the National Football League where I don't care what team you are, even if you're the Miami Dolphins or the New England Patriots, you're still in contention in week three. And if you look at the stadium last night at the game, <laughs> Redskin fans sent, sent you a big message. This is Monday night football. This is the biggest stage in football besides the Super Bowl. Monday night, there's no other game on and your whole top of your stadium was empty. The people that was at the game, it was some Redskin fans there and it was a lot of Bears fans there. Basically, a neutral site. So you have your team either playing away or playing in a neutral site every week. This is what's going on in D.C. Every week, we're either away or we're in a neutral site. The fans are sending you a message, Dan. These are your consumers. These, these are, we're, we're the people that's buying tickets, hot dogs, merchandise. I don't even have my, I don't even have my red skin shirt on right now. Why? Look at the mediocre product that you're bringing us. Now, it's a way to fix this, Dan. It's, it's a way to fix this. You have, your fan base has sent you a message, so now you have to send them one. You have to also send a message to competent general managers. This week, right here, this week. Don't, don't let another week go by. This is another thing you have to do. You have to send a message to competent head coaches this week, right here. And, and, and the way to do that I know a lot of you are going to say, hmm, fire Greg Minuski. Nah, it's bigger than Minuski. I know some of you are going to be like, ooh, we need to start Dwayne Haskins. It's bigger than Dwayne Haskins. I know some people are like, oh, let's fire Jay Gruden. Jay Gruden was actually dealt a terrible hand when he got here. There was no way he could succeed. He didn't even pick his own staff when he got here. So how could he succeed? Jim Haslick, McVay, all of that was already here when he got here. Bruce Allen, all of that was here when he got here. So how could he even succeed in this mess? And then you wonder why Ty Bowles said he wasn't coming to this crap. Or why Greg Williams said, I'd rather go to the I'd rather go to the Jets than to go to this crap. The reason why you couldn't even get rid of Minuski in the first place. Because no competent coach or no competent GM, no competent coordinator, no competent anybody is going to want to come here because of one reason. And the one reason is because this is the same thing that Red Game Review has been telling us for the last past three years. Thing I've been screaming for forever. This guy, Bruce Allen, has been down here nine years, ten years, two playoff appearances. The office is in flux. Your best player isn't even here. 
Office is in flux. Your best player isn't here. Fans aren't coming out. Other people fans are dominating our stadium. Get rid of Bruce Allen and it sends a message to coaches, general managers, your fans, that you're being serious. And when you bring the coach in, let him run the football team. Plain and simple. Let him pick his general manager. Let him pick his strength and conditioning coach. Let him pick the people that's going to be tending to our injuries, our health squad. Let, let, let him pick all of that, and you get out the way. That's the thing that Marty Schottenheimer was trying to tell you in 01. You pick me, let me run the football team. No, what did you do? You fired him because you didn't like that he was running the football team. You wanted a hand in it. Let me tell you what Bob Crabb does, the guy that they consider the best owner in sports. He hired his coach. He lets his coach run the football team. And at that time, when he hired his coach, the NFL thought he, they was laughing at him. He gave up a draft pick to bring Belichick in. He, he hired Belichick, gave him the keys. The next year, they was, they, they was hosting the Lombardi Trophy. The only time he stepped in the way is when Belichick wanted to get rid of Tom Brady. Only one time in 20 years, he'd even interfere. But you and Bruce Allen, y'all want to have y'all hands in everything, like y'all did Mike Shanahan. Mike Shanahan said, yo, I can get this done cheaper. No, what you idiots want to do? You want to trade everything and bring Robert in, even though Robert gave us a magical year. Probably the best year we had in 20 years. But you didn't let your coach run the football team, and that's why we're in the predicament we're in right now. Like I said, Jay Gruden didn't have a chance. As soon as he got here, he already had Hazlitt. As soon as he got here, he already had Bruce Allen. He couldn't put anything together. Time he got here, he already had the training staff, the scouting department. Everything was in play. Let hire a football coach. Let him change the culture. Let him run the team. And if the team isn't where you want it in three years, then you speak. Then you speak. We can't get any worse. Monday night football? It was more people at a Texas high school football game than it was in an NFL game. This is this is a joke. We're a laughing stock. This is Dan Snyder's legacy, and you're allowing this because of your loyalty. There's no loyalty in business. Bruce Allen should not be here. Yeah, he's bought in some good players. Yeah, he's bought in some good players the past few years. But guess what? The players can't trust the office. Why? Because the office is running the football team. They can't trust Jay because Jay's not running the football team. <clears throat> Jay Gruden literally has his hands tied behind his back. He can't work. How can you work in a situation like this? You can't. So what do you do, Snyder? Your team is in flux. Fans aren't showing up. Your team is not conditioned. Terrible medical staff. Terrible training staff. And if they're not terrible, they're not getting the best out of the players. So this is what you do. Get rid of Bruce Allen and that sends a message. Then that sends a message that, hmm, maybe a coach like Jim Harbaugh will want to come down here, a tyrant. We need somebody who's going to shake everything up, who's going to hold the training staff accountable, who's going to hold scouting accountable, who's going to hold the medical staff accountable, coaching staff and players. It won't be false starts on third and three. Third and one, another false start. Third and two, another holding call. Somebody that's going to hold offensive linemen accountable. 
Nobody sweats when Jay walks in the room. Let Jim Harbaugh take over that room. It'll be a different room. A build. A, he's already done it in San Fran. Give him the keys to the ship and get out the way. Just like how Belichick is the tyrant in New England. He runs everything. Everybody know he runs it. Your job is in his hands. He has the power to get rid of anybody in that organization, just like Sean Payton does. Andy Reid does. You getting my drift? The coaches that run the organization, the teams are better. Doug Peterson in Philly, he has the last say because he's the coach of the football team. Dan, it's that simple. Get rid of Bruce Allen, bring in a coach. He brings in a general manager. They bring in the training staff. They bring in the coordinators. And let's get this thing started on the right foot. But what this does is you put Dwayne Haskins behind hmm, another year now. Because now he has to learn a new system. But then this guy that you bring in doesn't have to be Jim Harbaugh. He can start building on the offensive line. That's the only thing you need to be worrying about. Getting a coach that's going to build an offensive line and build a culture and then you got to do what you have to do to get the fans back. I don't care if it's free parking, whatever you got to do, get the fans back in the stadium. We have to be a loud building. We have to build a culture that we're going to be loud. When Pete Carroll got to Seattle, the fans took over. Everybody bought into the energy. That's what we have to have down here. We have to build a culture down here. It's supposed to have been defense. It's supposed to have been running the football in, 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 in defense. We can't do either. All off season, everybody said we're going to have a good D. Where are they at? We have the young players to build around. It's really an easy fix if you just get rid of your big problem. At first, I was thinking this was like a, 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 a dumpster fire. And I said, nah, it's worse than a dumpster fire. It's a tire fire. Nah, it's worse than a tire fire. It's a California wildfire. And the only way you can get rid of half of this fire right now if you get rid of Bruce Allen immediately. Get rid of him first and let all the chips fall. And, and, and as a bonus, get the fans to get rid of Minuski. That'll get the fans already buzzing right now. If you just get rid of those two right now, that's going to get half of your fan base back happy. Jay Gruden will be on borrowed time. Let him make his money. And you bring a coach in here that can run this football team and you get out the way. If he doesn't draft who you think he should draft, don't worry about it. He's the coach. That's what you pay him for. Just get out the way. Let him run the football team. Hell to the Redskins.